Governor of Lagos State, Babajide Sanwolu, on Tuesday announced his intention to repeal the public office holder payments of pension law 2007, which provides for payments of pension and other entitlements to former governors and their deputies. He made this known while presenting the 2021 budget to the Lagos State House of Assembly. Like, seriously? Okay. Uh, let's see how far it's going to go. Well, it doesn't go far enough until you cancel the contract with Alpha Beta. Forget the news. He has no math because he only follows what Jagaban says. Really? Let's see and wait to see what happens. Tell the governor of your state to do the same. I'll be your state's past governors are not collecting jumbo pensions. Oh boy, leave it. You know, go past second term. Be that too. Of course, you know, uh, in my opinion, I just think they just want to, you know, these are the things that the masses, the public would like to hear. So they just want to tell you what the masses, you know, are always, you know, they, they, are, they are eager to hear. And don't forget that it's not, you cannot just say, oh, he wants to do that. He say that is his intention to repeal it, but you know before they pass the law in the first place, the the, the state assembly they sat together before they pass it, and I'm sure before that can be done, the same people would have to do the same thing. I uh, just think he just wants to like oh maybe that is my opinion because all these politicians you cannot just say you can't underestimate what they can really do. They might just want to let the public know that, oh, they want to do this. And they will tell you, oh, the house did not allow or did not agree to that. And at the end of the day, they will say, oh, he has tried his best. Because from all indications, everybody knows what has been happening all over the place. Especially when you talk about a godfather. It happened in Zamfara, if I'm not mistaken. Because the governor, the present governor, does not have anything to do with the former governor. So they have no bearing or maybe he was the one that put him as the godfather. So he could do that. Because at some point, the former governor of San Francisco was crying that uh, the, the new governor has not been able to pay his entitlements, all these pensions here and there. So it can only happen on that note. If not, forget it. In as much, you have a godfather that, that brought you to that seat. Oh, now watch. Well, I like to, be, to believe it's an error. It's an order from godfather. Part of 2023 plan. If not, Sawolu is too small to make such decision. Well, uh, this is good news. Pension upon pensions for leaders of this country. But poor teachers are dying every day. Without pensions, Nigeria leaders are the ones collecting everything. God will judge all of them. You can see the way they were so angry when they saw that the masses are now taking both steps. They are uniting together to work against them. And you see all the... Uh, the magic they performed to just scatter the peaceful protests. You could see when they were, all of them, they were talking, they were so angry. They were so angry. Oh my goodness. They were so angry that why? How come? Who gave these people this boldness and audacity? And that's why you see that they are beginning to arrest all those protesters because they just believe that they've been, they've been embarrassed. So, in my opinion, I just think that uh, all these things are uh, on our watch. is not going <laughs> to see the light of the day. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Pension upon pension. Okay, for these people, let them continue. Uh, I'm telling you, Mr. Oko, when there is life, there is hope. Also, death, don't mind them. And that, makes, that reminds me of uh, one of these senators, Aline Dumi. If you see the way at which the man was so hungry, he was like, Oh, what do you mean that this thing is just getting out, uh, out of hand? Every now and then, the public will be saying they are collecting this, they are collecting jumbo allowances. That, that to think of it, that they should just, we should just think about it. That even if they take all the money and take it back to the, to the post of the, of the country, that it's not going to solve any problem. Like it's nothing. You can imagine, but it is that good for you to be collecting such an amount of money. You can imagine their mentality that even if they stop to pay them such an amount of money, it's not going to solve the problem of the country. He was so angry. He was so angry himself with one other man that they were uh, that they were interviewing. They were so angry that people always talk about it. If you know it's nothing, then you just leave it. Don't just bother. So with this um, decision, or I don't know how to, I don't even know how to say it from someone who I, I strongly doubt it. I strongly doubt it. Are we saying the Americans in the 60s and early 70s, uh, are we going to be world power like America? 
is it is it a start to corruption and godfathers with children witness against their fathers and wife against husband lawyers attorney generals trained with corrupt money fight and witness against them when all we have conscience when we do we think everybody will just have conscience and do the right thing well, someone believe it's a lie that nobody can do that. It's a propaganda. Do so quickly and God bless uh, you. Really? <laughs> someone believes that he's, he's not a serious person. He's only saying to deceive people. He knows he can't do that. He doesn't even know. He doesn't even have the power to do it as a governor unless he changed the constitution. Why is somebody such an unlucky man? He has not even collected for more than one year so he's been collecting too really Ambody is secure so will you answer what tinubu told him more he can't try it they need to change constitution governor sonwolu should begin to act as a governor man because history will tell after his four years in office he's not going to do that he can't do that they are just they just want to use that to bobo us they just want to deceive us with all of these things kudos to sonwolu if it won't be just a political statement to doubt the tension that the hashtag answers protests had generated and it will be the first step to economic recovery. Please don't let it be only Tinubu and Fashola, but to every political office holders and state assembly. Chai, these governments have killed us. So political Goliath like Jagaban is still receiving pension. <laughs> now don't kill or finish. Ah, so you didn't know. Ha, this person don't know. Where have you been? <laughs> this is uh, showing political will and daring uh, and daring them. Let's see how the Godfathers react. They are excellencies too. A better option might be a downward review of these pensions. Even the legislature's remuneration generally. Just to, you know, everything has to be reviewed. They don't want it reviewed. A person will call army come. They lie. The beginning of hashtag end corruption. Thanks. Sonwolu is playing with impeachment. Go and ask somebody that was that was working better and actively than you. Be careful. The godfathers in Lagos don't sleep. <clears throat> Anybody that believes that uh, Sonwolu is going to do that, the person uh, is, is sleeping. <clears throat> is sleeping or the person must be dreaming. I hope he's allowed to do so. You don't like second tenor. Tinumbu will be your enemy. No second term for you. Do uh, you don't have the liver to do so? Now lie in the lie. In no go fit do that one. You just they try use until the bobo people. No, oh, no good program for people. I know one day. I know one day will be one day. People will stand against bad governments in this country. They will never escape it. They think oh now, but it is not even yet over because the way they've disrupted this a. Uh, Answers process which they knew is genuine. That's why you see people coming, different groups coming left, right, and center and trying to discredit this whole thing. They would think by now, or as, as, as we speak, that they have overcome. Oh, they have won. No, you have not won. I know they are within their conscience, they know that the evil that is awaiting them in the nearest future, <laughs> they might not be able to withstand it unless they do the needful and repent from all of these atrocities.